Hello, my name is Sammy Rivera. And I'm Ryan Sakura, And we are the broadcast team for Sabercat Baseball. And you are listening to the home of Saguaro Sabercat Athletics, the Varsity Sports Show, AM 1060 KDUS, Arizona. The Varsity Sports Show presents the Sabercat Report with Saguaro High School baseball coach Joe Mickey. And now, here's the Sabercat Report. Welcome back to the Varsity Sports Show here on AM 1060 KDUS Arizona. And it's time for the Sabercat Report with uh, Saguaro High School Sabercat baseball coach Joe Mickey. Good morning, Coach Mickey. How are you, sir? I'm well, Vince. Thanks for having me. How are you this morning? Um, I'm great. Coach, you had a big week, a couple of big wins. I mean, you guys are rolling. You're, you're, uh, you know, you got a top 10 ranking, you're specifically ranked number seven in the state. You've got a, the new rankings will be out on Monday. What in the heck is going on out there at Saguaro? Oh, just, uh, just playing good baseball. You know, a lot of, a lot of potential in our lineup and uh, shoot our approach yesterday and, and again, shadow on Thursday. Uh, just taking really good at bats, pitchers throwing strikes and keeping the game simple. Uh, it's pretty easy when it's all clicking, and uh, we're just starting to find a kind of find our group together as a group, and uh, fun to watch, fun to coach, and uh, nice when you have some success as well. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously, team uh, had uh, a couple of back-to-back wins this past week. We'll have another back-to-back this next week. How do how do these? Uh, you know, it's kind of a loaded question, but how do these back-to-back games impact how you guys prepare for the, for each week? Yeah, it, that's probably the biggest challenge, right? Lining up uh, just your pitching and, and just knowing you don't really have the day in between or a practice day to prepare. And, and so you kind of try to cover everything when you have those uh, those opportunities. You know, we're out here working Saturday morning uh, to get ready for Tuesday. And I know Marcos is going to come back at us with uh, probably their best shot. They're a good program, good club. Uh, and, you know, and then we get a rival in Arcadia uh, in the middle of the week. And, and, uh, and we know we get a good game against Seton at the end of the week. And, you just kind of try to keep guys in perspective, one game at a time, you know, one pitch at a time. That's really what you can control. And, uh, shoot, I just uh, – we're just having some guys start to step up, too. I mean, uh, Javen Jacob, you know, two-sport athlete, coming around and, and, and being the player he's capable of being offensively. And, uh, you know, Tanner Nelson kind of starting to swing the bat really, really well. Ty Nelson, our leader. Uh, these guys are just leading from the top. The Chesaro's throwing well. Uh, and our pitching, we, I mean, we've had guys just really step up. And so as you prepare in the week, uh, you know, we have a freshman thrown in Cade Schumard and, uh, you know, Brody Carruthers, a, a junior. Guys are just really starting to just do their job. And they're, they're understanding their roles. And, and that's as a coach what you're trying to identify is, hey, this is how you're going to help us be successful, do the best job you can in your role. And uh, when guys start buying into that, uh, they start taking off. And, and so we're hopefully going to take that momentum and let it carry us. Well, you mentioned freshman Cade Schumard. You know, he was on the mound the other day. I mean, had a very impressive showing. I mean, heck, you guys won 8-0 over Shadow Mountain on Thursday. How, how vital do you think these underclassmen will be as you get deeper into the season? Uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's really exciting. I tell you, uh, it's, a, it's really important. And I, I kind of try to set that tone as, uh, you know, wherever you start in our program when the season starts, we, we hopefully, if we're doing our job and, and, and you're doing yours, you're going to be playing like a, a next-year athlete uh, by the end of the run. And, and so, you know, those underclassmen, they get to get their feet wet, but they also understand how to be successful, uh, and they're, they're vital um, because they, one, keep you excited for the future, but then they're also having success, and you hope they're playing like sophomores by the end of the year, and the sophomores start playing like juniors and so on and so forth. And if, uh, if guys are having that type of confidence, then we're, we're in a pretty good spot where we want to be uh, finishing the year and finishing strong. Before we bring him on, Coach, talk a little bit about your catcher, Frank uh, DiGregorio. Oh, Frankie is uh, an unsung hero, uh, really thriving in the, in the catcher role. He's commanding our pitching staff. I think we have a sub-three team ERA. Uh, he's caught every inning for us, uh, really just taking, taking the leadership role that I couldn't even imagine for him, uh, beyond words, happy for him, uh, swinging the bat really well in the middle of our lineup and uh, you know, as a coach who's known him since he's been in middle school, uh, that's all you could want is uh, when it's their time to shine, uh, they, they shine. And he's been doing that, a uh, top-shelf student-athlete in the classroom, but just a great charismatic leader and a young man that I'm just uh, really happy is having success and, and doing his job so well for us uh, as, a, as a ball player. Well, one thing that's been really noticeable uh, throughout that game on Thursday when you had the freshman on the mound is there were a couple of times when, when Frank went out there uh, and, you know, and, and talked to him and kind of 
pumped him up a little bit. Obviously, those are intangibles that uh, that you know that you you can't coach. And and he went out there and, and took leadership and kind of calmed the, calmed the the young man down a little bit. Oh, you nailed it, Vince. I, and I'm glad you saw that. I mean, that's what we see. I mean, he's catching bullpens with all these guys getting on the same page. Uh, I know Coach Fortney, our pitching coach, would tell you he's like having another uh, pitching coach out there. And any coach will tell you in the world, if you've got another coach on the field with you who's uh, executing the game plan and then also just helping the players be successful, that's that's a dream. And, and so, you know, he definitely is one of those guys and uh, really been fun to be around. But just uh, you really try to appreciate that because you don't always have that. And so, uh, I'm trying to enjoy every bit of what he's given us this year, and he's a big reason why we're where we're at uh, in the top ten and, and moving forward down the stretch. Awesome. Coach Joe Mickey, Saguaro Sabercats baseball. Coach, thank you so much. We're going to bring Frank on here, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Vince. Look forward to seeing you guys. Appreciate you all. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay, catcher from the Saguaro Sabercats, Frank D. Gregorio. Frank, how you doing? Good, sir. How are you? I'm all right, man. So that's uh, that's some high praise from your coach. Uh, how does that make you feel? You know, it makes me feel very honored. Growing up for a long time and growing up and just hearing that, you know, I'm able to fill this role well and succeed with – to have success with the team, it's, it's an awesome feeling. Well, I got to say, and I said this earlier, you know, one thing we've noticed on the broadcast is the pace that the pitchers work at – how important is for you to keep the pitchers in that groove? Because we know, you know, I know you communicate with them a lot, and it looks like you don't take a lot of instruction. You don't tend to look over at the at the uh, the dugout at your coach. It's like you you and and the pitcher are kind of communicating and calling your own uh, shots throughout the game. Yeah, between me and the pitchers, it's very important and key to me to keep high energy the whole time, keep the same pace going, you know, keep their flow going. That's makes them feel good. And it's going to keep them pitching good as well. Yeah. So how much communication is there between you and the pitcher and, and maybe the coaches in between innings? Uh, between the coaches every once in a while, between me and the pitcher, uh, doing good, doing bad, it's the same always. You know, it's always motivation. Yeah. Keep this with going, the, do this right. Sure. Yeah. And, and with the back-to-back games that I asked this of Coach earlier that, that you guys played this week, how much of a toll does that put on your body as a catcher? I mean, that, that's, you know, it's got it's to hurt you a little bit. A little bit, but, you know, but it's the the feeling you get after success, it overwhelms that, the pain and everything. Yeah. So you as as we – yeah, well, I'm sure you do a little bit, but winning obviously <laughs> cures it all. So – and an ice bath right. once in a while. But, uh, you know, as, as we get close to the end of the season now, and then now that the team has, has won, what, six out of the last seven games, what's what's your guys' mentality heading, heading into the final few weeks of the season? Stay strong. Don't let off the pedal keep working yeah. don't take any game for granted these are all important games to us just got to keep going keep digging uh you know you're you're in obviously in the midst of your season so we don't want to get too far ahead but what are your plans what uh what do you want to do after after this year i would like to go to community uh, scottsdale community college i would like to okay uh, just basic and maybe play baseball i haven't thought about that one yet but I know it's great yeah. time. Yeah, and you, do you have uh, you have some guys that have inspired you along the way? Obviously, Coach Mickey, uh, who you've known for a long time. Any other people that uh, have kind of pushed you and, and encouraged you along the way? Maybe when you've kind of had those tough days. Yeah, my parents. Easily, my parents. Uh, always motivated. Nice. So I can talk to them about anything, and they always have my back. I know that. Me and my my family. Yeah. Yeah, and and how close of a of a group are you guys? I mean, you got you know you, you're from what I see, you're a pretty tight knit group. You like to keep it loose, joke around a little bit. Uh, I'm still yeah. trying to track down who hit that line drive at my calf last week, but uh, I, you guys have been protecting whoever that is. But uh, but you guys, you know, overall, you guys are a pretty tight knit group. Yeah, that's that's key. Uh, having a good success, you know, everybody's got to be on the same page about everything and being loose too. You can't be. You know, yeah. always in your head about stuff. Keep it loose. It's good. Yeah. Well, good. Well, good. All right. Well, Saguaro baseball catcher, Frank D. Gregorio. Frank, thanks so much for joining us here on the Varsity Sports Show during the Sabercat Report. And uh, we look forward to, to seeing you this upcoming week and checking back with you throughout the season. Awesome. Thank you for having me. All right. Wow, what a Sabercat report. You know, I love doing the segment because we, we get to spotlight, spotlight all the great young people. And I'm, I'm kidding about getting hit with that line drive. It didn't hurt that bad. It, it, the bruising went away after a couple of days, so it wasn't bad. Anyway.